what's going on everybody this is pen and welcome back to the channel so in this video i just want to change it up a bit i want to uh discuss um pc gaming uh use cases as we all know uh nvidia has the rtx 50 series you know that's the current um generation of the graphics cards and things like that and you know a lot of consumers gamers are pissed off or don't like their business model especially when it comes to the lower end cards um they think that nvidia is greedy and then they just think it's totally unfair with how the cards are being utilized especially with the vram usage and you know they just questioning the value proposition things of that nature in this specific video though i want to talk about the 90 series versus the 80 series and what you should target, what are some of the things that you should be considering and what are some of the things or the goals that you may have, you know, when it comes to your gaming, especially if you're going to stick with NVIDIA. I'm team green all the way. I'll just be perfectly honest with you. I like the new NVIDIA application. I like the AI suit and the new tools and the features that uh, DLSS4 is bringing to the table. And that is truly a game changer. I want to uh, discuss something with you. We know currently that the RTX 5090 is the flagship card. You know, if you're building a gaming PC, um, that's going to be the card with the most amount of VRAM. That's also going to be the card that if you don't plan on upgrading every generation, it should last you a good four and a half to five years, especially with uh, today's features and what these games are having on PC in terms of upscaling, AI upscaling, adjusting settings, all type of things to get you that um, balance between good graphics and performance, right? Check out the 5080 price, and this is on Amazon, not doing anything crazy. Look at the price here. And then look at the price here. And I'm sure that there are some eBay prices that are even more ridiculous. For 90, literally 98% <laughs> of the user base, you know, um, when it comes to PC gamers, a lot of them are going to be taken out of the budget market, especially when we're talking prices like this. And this isn't straight from NVIDIA's website. I'm just using Amazon just as an example. I'm sure you guys have seen crazier prices than this, especially on eBay. But look, the 5090 is a card that is targeted for the enthusiasts. Just hear me out. When I say enthusiasts, I mean that someone that just want the latest and greatest gear and every generation they want to try out the latest and flyest stuff right does that come with some caveats and is it diminishing returns at the end of the day just hear me out on this and some of you may think well this is weird because pen you have the 4090 so if anything you should understand and i do understand to a certain degree and i'm going to get into it when you invest in the 90 um, series card, um, rather it's a 5090 or a 5090 Ti, if that's even going to come out, you're guaranteed the best possible um, card in terms of performance. You have the VRAM usage, or you can use it with creative applications. The 90 series is honestly more targeted towards professionals people that's been in the TV and film industry, people that work on video games, uh, designers, um, independent contractors, freelancers who need that extra VRAM. So when they're being creative, when they're creating, they have enough in their investment to last them until the next generation. Uh, let's go here. 32 gigs of graphics RAM size on the 5090 and only 16 on the 5080. 
And I don't know if they're going to do a 50, 80 TI or things like that. I haven't looked into them because I'm on the 40 series still. I have the 4090 and I have 24 um, gigs of uh, video memory or video RAM on my GPU. And um, that's the thing about it. When you do the 90 series cards, you're going to have to bring to the table things like softwares like uh, Autodesk Maya, which is a whole entire 3D design suit where you're able to do 3D animation, visual effects software. Uh, you can do modeling, texturing, um, lighting, rendering, all within this one software. I know about these softwares because I went to school for this, and this used to be the industry that I was in before I had switched over to IT. Um, and thanks to the pandemic, that sort of led to me jumpstarting a new career for myself. And I'm doing um, very well in my new career, might I add. But these are very specific programs. That's why I'm introducing the concept to you to understand that that purchase is going to be for those industry professionals that can afford um, the prices after MSRP. So if they're not able to get something in the initial pre-order or something happens to where they're paying like um, additional prices, they're professionals that they've been working in the industry for quite the number of years. They can afford the top of the line card because they need that top of the line card in their day to day workflow because time is money. So nowadays you have a lot of real time rendering solutions like in Blender. There's something called um, Eevee, if I'm not mistaken. And I used to use it myself. And it's their own real-time rendering solution. So instead of you having to wait for a frame to render, you know, with um, path tracing or traditional solutions, with real-time, you can create that model, that texture. You can change lights on the fly. And then real-time, you're seeing updates literally within seconds. And that's a game changer for professionals because the 5090 has 32 gigs of VRAM. So they can go harder in their scenes. Uh, they can render much more faster and efficient. If they're doing any sort of uh, video editing, any sort of 4K major or 8K project is going to render in no time. That's what the 90 series card is for. It's not just for gaming. Um, you got Cinema 4D. This is another banger. And I've used all of these. Uh, all of the examples that I'm showing here, I've used all of them in the past, especially in my college days. And then after I had graduated, um, I was using these tools uh, definitely for production, you know, when it came to my clientele at the time. So I can speak on this. Um, Octane is another tool that professionals will use with their graphics cards. And NVIDIA was extremely popular when it came to day-to-day -to -day work, getting these 3D scenes rendered. Anything that's going to be deliverable within 24 to 48 hours, NVIDIA graphics cards was like that marquee they were to go to in a sense. And that's what the flagship card is for. It's for the creative suit with the addition of playing video games. However, the 80 series is more targeted towards the gamers. This is really going to be for the 5080 is really going to be for the PC gamer that want the best possible card from NVIDIA, quote unquote, without going over the budget. Um, as you can see, these prices are way more attractive than prices like this. I mean, come on, people. I mean, it's, it's common sense, right? You get half the VRAM. Now, when you're thinking about the 80 or 90 series, ultimately it's going to come down to what games are you playing? The games are going to dictate primarily what you upgrade inside your PC. It's just important for people not to get caught up 
in the whirlwind or if they have like a fear of missing out or they just want to try the latest and greatest tech. And then sometimes when you have that mindset and that mentality, sometimes it can have some diminishing returns, especially if you are not a professional or you don't have an upper echelon monitor, a television, a projector, you don't have a home theater system to sort of justify the price, the financial commitment that you're putting into the build when you're not utilizing it until its full extent. If you're going to get the 5090 for gaming, you should definitely have um, an upper echelon display. You should have a receiver or additional amplifications if necessary. You should have uh, the whole nine. You know, there should be more to it. Definitely is targeted for creators. So you should be doing more with it by default. Look at what you're paying. But if you're not doing any type of business, you're just simply firing up a game. I mean, you can do it, of course, you know, and it's personal preference. But it may make more sense in the long run just to target the 80 series card because that's specifically targeted towards the gamers and the 90 is where NVIDIA does their major promo showing you all the features, AI this, you can render this, look at this AI. The the 90 is like, that's what they want you to buy, (laughs) but the 80 is going to be for the gamers. And that's just... Uh, let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment sessions. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Um, it is personal preference at the end of the day. Did you learn anything new? Um, did you guys know about Cinema 4D, Blender, Maya? Like these are tools that the um, industry professionals are using in their day to day with these latest uh, flagship NVIDIA GPUs. So you should know about the tools that they're using because it's the reason why they invested in the high-end product because they have assignments and they have deliverables per day that they have to, you know, they have to meet. And getting the best card makes sense. It makes business sense. But it may not make sense for you if all you're doing is trying to play some video games. So just keep that in mind, you know, going forward. Um, but Hey, what you do is up to you. I just want to provide just some general information and some guidance in terms of, um, what you may want to look for versus are you really utilizing this to its fullest capability? And that's about it. Take care, everybody. Peace out.